My name is Ryan Wood and this is Our Wood Outdoors. Hello everyone, as you can see I've accumulated quite a collection of kayaks over the years and it can be rather cumbersome to store one of these things, let alone a big group of them. So on today's episode of Our Wood Outdoors, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step build of a custom kayak rack. I hope you find this informative and entertaining. Stay tuned. Before I start a construction project, I like to sketch up my designs on the computer first. Uh, today I'm using a software called DraftSite, and this is a full-power 2D AutoCAD program. Many years ago, software like this would have cost thousands of dollars, but uh, today technology has come quite a ways, and software like this is absolutely free. I'll have a link to DraftSite's website in the description to this video. I uh, hope you'll check it out. helps you a lot when uh, planning projects like this. So I just got back from Home Depot, got all my lumber and my hardware, and let's get going on building this rack. First thing I'm going to do, going to measure everything out. Remember, measure twice, cut once. Let's get started. So most of these two by fours I'm just going to cut in half. I'm looking for four foot lengths. So out of my eight foot board, just going to cut in half. Okay, I've got everything measured out. Let's get to cutting. Okay, I've got all my lumber cut. My next step is to get everything lined up so I can drill my bolt holes. First step is I've got the uh, 4x4 corner posts up on concrete blocks and I'm going to make sure they're 48 inches apart. Okay, now I'm going to take my 2x4s that I've cut to 48 inches and lay them out in my ladder rung structure so that we can put this thing together. So I decided on half inch bolts to put this rack together. So I'm gonna use a half inch diameter drill bit to drill the holes in the lumber. Get everything clamped together and let's get to work. I recommend you drop a bolt in with each hole you drill, washer on each side, and tighten up with a wrench and a socket. Okay, I finished up one half of the ladder segment, now to do the same thing for the other side. Okay, I've got my two ladders complete. Time to put it all together. I've got all my cross members cut to length. Next step, drill all the bolt holes to put them all together. As you can see, I've completed my kayak rack. It stores all my boats nice and organized. Got a really stable structure to work with. I opted on going with pressure treated lumber and galvanized hardware for this build. Uh, definitely helps with the weatherproofing. At the end of this video I'm going to show you a list of all my materials and what everything cost. If you're looking to save some money uh, you could definitely go with untreated wood and uh, lower grade of bolt. But uh, if weatherproofing is important to you, definitely encourage you to go with the pressure treat and the galvanized. Anyway, um, next step is to get this set up in my garage and uh, hopefully have years of good storage and easy access for my kayaks. Okay, well there's the finished product. All four kayaks organized nicely in my garage. Uh, the door opens and closes just fine. And uh, really easy to pull them out, just like uh, drawers in your kitchen. Makes it easy to get on the water. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, or possibly inspire some own creative ideas for your own custom kayak rack. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that subscribe button for the latest episodes. My name is Ryan Wood. 
We'll see you next time.